Hello everyone, I'm back with another reaction video, and this time I'm gonna be reacting to Planet Dolan Embarrassing Parents number five. So I like Planet Dolan and pretty much I like the folk crew. They're amazing. I like you guys to come, go subscribe to them. And the link will be in the description below to the video. Anyway, let's get into the video. Planet Dolan. Okay, MG Tyler. MG Tyler, okay. From getting pants in a Walmart to screaming during a food solo, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the most embarrassing things our parents have done. I'm Dookie, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Bang Tang Girl 709. Princess Proton was in a store with her mom when she saw one of her friends from school. She went up to her friend and left her mom to shop alone for a few minutes. Just then, she heard a store announcement say, Attention all shoppers! Can Princess Proton come to the woman's section to tell her mother what brand of pad she uses? What? Thank you very much! Princess Proton was already embarrassed, and she later learned that even more people she knew were also at the store. And the announcement had used her full name. Oh Number my nine god. was submitted by Let's Play Cloud Aids. When Ladybot was seven, she had a weird rash on her chest that was already pretty embarrassing. But when she went to a family reunion, her mom announced to everybody about the rash. Her relatives were laughing hysterically, so she spent the rest of the reunion in her room, sulking and playing video games. Oh boy. But even then, she couldn't escape it, because her older cousin kept popping in and asking, How's your boob rash, little lady? Oh my god. After the reunion, Ladybot didn't talk to her mom until she apologized. More than a decade later, her mom still reminds her of the rash. Number 8 oh, was submitted by Andrew124. <laughs> Ursa had an awkward moment in the car with her mom that would have been way worse if anybody else was around. When Ursa was about 16, she was driving her mom to the store when her mom looked over at her from the passenger side and said, Honey, I just hope you know the pull-out method doesn't work, and that's why we have you. What? It was so completely out of nowhere, Ursa almost swerved into a ditch. Number seven was submitted by Night Shift Ninja. Helvin's parents love to reminisce on Facebook about all the weird shit that he said when he was younger. Whoa. One of their favorite stories to tell is from when Helvin was nine years old. He and his sisters were playing UFC and he yelled, I'm gonna squat thrust you into a coma! Helvin's dad posted the video of it to Facebook and tagged him in it. The next day, all his friends in high school yelled that at him whenever possible. Number six was submitted by Darklaser M31. Finn and his dad went to a bookstore, and after a good deal of time, his dad found a book he wanted to buy. When they got to the checkout line, his dad leaned forward and started pointing out imaginary flaws in the book, angling for a discount. The girl behind the counter got this really confused look and looked at Sid for help. Sid put his face in his hands, as this went on for a while and his dad was starting to hold up the line. Sid was trying to avoid being associated with him, but was unfortunately standing right next to him. He kept pressuring the girl to lower the price for a whole sequence of nonsense made up reasons. Oh my god. Finally, Sid had enough and said, Dad. He scowled at Sid and begrudgingly paid for the book. Number five was submitted by Donald McCecil. One time, Gurgat was playing an online game with a bunch of people. He knew they were in the chat, but didn't have microphones. His mother noticed he had a hot mic and proceeded to say directly into the microphone, Hey Gurgat, when you're done, can you sort the clean and soiled undies? Oh then, my. Can you help me find my bra? Oh my god. Of course, she didn't actually need any of those things. She just did it to embarrass him. Oh and my. he had no convincing way to explain it away. He decided the easiest course of action was to just quit the game and start a new group. Number four was submitted by Three Clips Angel. Melissa used to be in a band and played the flute in sixth grade. In their performance, some people were assigned a solo randomly from the teacher. Melissa was very shy and nervous. 
nervous to play in front of so many people, so she was hoping that she wouldn't get picked, but she did. On the day of the performance, she got over her nerves and actually performed her solo really well. But just before she finished, her mother stood up and started screaming, Woo! That's my baby girl right there! Not some dead pumpkin! After this, you're getting a well-deserved happy meal! Whoa! To this day, her friends haven't let her live it down. Number three was submitted by Plank Gamer 69 Once, Vera Gonbo was at Walmart with his girlfriend and a few of her friends having a good time. What Vera Gonbo didn't know was that his dad was also at Walmart. He never even saw him there before he ran up and pants Vera Gonbo. Oh my god! Not only his pants, but his underwear too. Oh my Everyone god. Everyone laughed at him as he looked down to see his pants and underwear on the floor. Vera Gonbo hurried to put his pants back on and walked away. He still gets teased about it. Oh my god. Was submitted by Bad Hector 00001. When Pringle was in sixth grade, his mom was picking him up from school. She pulled up and waited for Pringle to leave his classmates and start walking over to the car. Then she rolled down the window and started yelling, Hey, it's my beautiful baby boy. Get in, get in. We have to go to your Uncle Wunkly's house. Oh, and hey, you didn't need more than four condoms, right? Oh my god. I know how you like your girl. Pringle assumed oh my this was god. the result of his mom catching him masturbating a few days earlier. Oh now, god. Now, was submitted by me. So my mom's the type of person who thinks that she is a cool mom, and she is not. And when I was in sixth grade, my boyfriend was over and playing Guitar Hero. He was doing a really amazing job because for some reason that's all he seemed to do. And my mom embarrassed me by yelling, Whoa, look at you! Give me some dab! Oh. And proceeded to high-five him. I don't know what she was trying to say. I don't know what she meant. But I was extremely embarrassed, and he just laughed at me. Huge mm. thanks for the folks over on our Planet Dillon subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What's the weirdest job you got paid to do? Let us know in the Reddit page link below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. My phone is now official game. Play is Dillon, Melissa, and the rest of the PD crew collecting shinies. Come up skins and power-ups. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, this was an awesome reaction video. Besides, I will not—I will not lie to you. I was cringing throughout this video. Besides, I was like, "Whoa, my God!" Also, yeah, this was a good video. Also, I do have the Planet uh, Dolan Cart app. It's really good. And also, I seen the sign. That was also good. And I—I I would like to let you guys know to subscribe to all of them. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.